गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज फाइनल डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट प्लान सो वॉट इज फाइनल डायग्नोसिस फाइनल डायग्नोसिस इज बेसिकली द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द डायग्नोसिस फॉर द पेशेंट प्राइमरी कंप्लेन फर्स्ट विद सबसेरी डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द कॉन्करेंट प्रॉब्लम इट इज यूजली रीच बाई फॉलोइंग क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड क्रिटिकल इवेल्युएशन ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑप्टेड फ्रॉम पेशेंट थर केस हिस्ट्री case history is one of the most important aspects in a treatment planning of any kind of patient physical examination and result of radiological and laboratory examination there may be a possibility where sometimes a one disease is present at the same time with other diseases most importantly in unusual cases consultant with other doctors and specialist is important before reaching to a particular final diagnosis in case of no definite diagnosis is made then diagnosis can be written as idiopathic unexplained functional and symptomatic diagnosis the patient should be informed about the diagnosis and about the results and examination prior to performing any procedure treatment planning the formulation of treatment plan will depend on both knowledge as well as the experience of a competent doctor and nature and extent of the treatment facilities available evaluation of any special risks posed by the compromised medical status in the planned anesthetic diagnostic and surgical procedure medical assessment is needed to identify the need of medical consultation and to recognize significant deviation from normal health status that may affect management in dentistry treatment plan aims to in reduction of the gingivitis reduction in probing depth elimination of the pocket depth restoring the amount of bone loss and elimination of the furcation defects in case of multi rooted teeth like premolars and molars the drugs are given to the patient and the dose and duration of the treatment is important to be mentioned in the prescription which is given to the patient the drugs can be prescribed in the following formats od which stands for once a day bid which stands for twice a day tid which means three times a day and qid meaning four times a day now coming to prescription writing the prescription writing consists of the following parts first is superscription superscription is nothing but the general background information regarding the dentist that is the name address and telephone number information about the patient that is the name address age and the date when the prescription is written inscription inscription is a specific information regarding the drugs and the dosage that is given to the patient subscription subscription is basically the direction of, to the pharmacist for filling the inscription that is the number of capsules or tablets to be dispensed or the volume of the liquid the number of refills allowed and time constraints directions to be listed on the container label it is basically the drugs which are given to the patient as well as the indications about when the patient needs to take the drugs as well as the time and the number of drugs to be taken transcription transcription is the instructions to the patient to be listed on the container label signature and the educational degree of prescribing the doctor a doctor is required by law only for certain controlled substance schedule 2 drug guidelines for prescription writing obtain an accurate and complete patient history including whether the patient is taking any drugs which is prescribed by other doctors or any over the counter drugs both can affect the dosage or affects or effects of the drug being prescribed use separate prescription blank for each drug avoid using prescription blank with trade names printed on them never pre sign prescription blank and always store the blank prescription pads in a secure place write out number then using digits so that prescription cannot be altered prescribe sufficient drug and at adequate dosing intervals to maintain therapeutic blood level keep a record of this instruction listed on the drug container for the patient must be specific full disclosure is verbally given regardless the prescription before the patient leaves the office instruction regarding anticipated side effects as should be explained to the patient verbally prior to the drugs given advise the patient to call the office when any of the side effects develop as soon as possible in case of surgical treatment it should uh, the patient should be informed as well as the prescription should contain the type of anesthesia used that is local or general name of the anesthetist name of the surgeon closure drainage whether given or not and the follow up there resume when the patient is discharged from the hospital and it extends till the starts his normal active life 
Now coming to the phases of treatment plan. The treatment plan will be written in the following phases. First is emergency phase. Second phase one, which is the etiotropic phase. Phase two is surgical phase. Phase three, restorative phase. Phase four, the maintenance phase. This is the preferred, preferred sequence of periodontal therapy. First emergency phase, followed by the etiotropic phase, which is followed by the maintenance phase. Then comes the surgical phase, which is followed again by the maintenance phase. Then the restorative phase and again the maintenance phase. So basically after each phase, there needs to be a maintenance phase for evaluating the patient's complaint and the treatment done. First, the emergency phase. In emergency phase, the treatment of any type of pain is considered extraction of hopeless teeth, draining of any kind of abscesses and access opening. Phase one, etiotropic phase. In this phase, basically the non-surgical procedures are performed during this phase. In this phase, following treatments can be done. First, patient education and oral hygiene maintenance, cause-related non-surgical therapy, restoration of carious lesion, supra and subgingival scaling and root planing, removal of plaque, treatment of occlusal trauma, treatment of food impaction, correction and removal of ill-fitting and poorly fitting prosthetic appliances, and orthodontic tooth movement. In phase two, that is the surgical phase, it consists of root canal therapy, various periodontal surgical procedures like closing or uh, like elimination of the pocket wall, pocket depth, flap surgeries with bone graft procedures, implant placement, and endodontic therapy. Phase three, which is the restorative phase, it consists of any kind of final restorations of carious lesions, fixed prosthesis, removable prosthesis. Phase four, which is the maintenance phase, it includes a recall, periodic checkups, evaluation of the procedure after the treatment is done, checking for presence of plaque, calculus, stains, or any kind of inflammation if present, suture removal. The time of recall may vary depending upon the treatment done and required procedure done. Considering the maintenance phase for extraction, the patient is recalled after three to seven days for the removal of sutures if they are given. Healing of the wound is checked. Check for any kind of post-operative complications like hemorrhage, swelling, bone injury, or any kind of lacerations that are seen at the extraction site. Check for the presence of dry socket or ecchymosis. If any of the above complications are noticed by the patient, the treatment is done according to the chief complaint as soon as possible. Thank you.